to work. If we want to work. Federal workers rallied in Washington on Thursday, demanding an end to the nearly three week old government shutdown. Uh, I'd really like the shutdown to end. I'd like to go back to work, I'd like to go back to doing my job. It's concerning because we have a job to do and most of the people that work there are very dedicated. We work for the American people. We want to be doing our jobs. And turning up the heat on Democrats and President Trump to end their bitter standoff over his $5 billion demand for a border wall after talks collapsed in spectacular fashion on Wednesday. Well, unfortunately, the president just got up and walked out. I very calmly said, if you're not going to give us strong borders, Bye-bye. Some 800,000 federal employees, from TSA screeners to FBI agents, are either furloughed or working without pay. On Friday, all of them will miss their first paycheck. Yeah. Workers for no With negotiations going nowhere, a group of Republican senators led by Lindsey Graham are scrambling to find a way out. Graham met on Wednesday night with fellow Republican senators and White House senior advisor Jared Kushner. It was a great meeting. It's in its infant stages, no commitment by anybody, but I'm somewhat hopeful that maybe there's a way to get what the president wants in a fashion that would do the least amount of damage to the country as possible. On Thursday, Trump seemed to confirm that if the talks fail, he would declare a national emergency to get funding for the wall, redirecting money from the Pentagon. I have the absolute right to declare a national emergency. The lawyers have so advised me. I'm not prepared to do that yet, but if I have to, I will. Democrats in control of the House of Representatives have refused to fund the wall, calling it a waste of federal money. But no, we're going to invest in a stupid, static wall. They're instead passing bills to immediately open the government, bills that Senate leader Mitch McConnell is refusing to consider without Trump's consent. It's a fact. Physical barriers are effective. If the stalemate is not resolved before the weekend, it will be the longest government shutdown in the nation's history.